All right. Um, congrats. <laughs> uh, what's going through your mind right now as you're tooling around Los Angeles right now? Man, it's, uh, you know what? It's, it's wild, Rich. It's hard, hard to get it all together. You know, it's, it's that day where you're, you're happy and then you're also just trying to figure out how you got where you are and a lot of excitement and all that, but, uh, be a fun two weeks. That's for sure. I know. Um, and, uh, so well, take me into the locker room last night after it was all over. What was that like? Oh man, you know that that whole thing on the field and the celebration and just you know just it gets uh you know just a great a great opportunity to show your gratitude to all the people in the building that that make up what uh, what is your organization and that was a lot of fun a lot of great energy and and really a, just a special moment you get to have with all those people that you know not just the players but everybody that's been so invested all throughout the year and uh, getting to that pinnacle really means a lot to so many different people and families and everything else. Oh, it was really special. The hugs, the embraces, the pictures, um, and just the overall excitement of everybody. Speaking of hug and embracing, we're showing a photograph right now, Andrew, of you sharing one with Sean McVay. Can you let us be a fly on the wall? What was this one like when you saw him last night? What would you say? Uh, really special. I mean, obviously our relationship has been extremely unique in the five years we've been here together. And, and um, you know, I think something to us, you know, uh, it's been a lot of time on and off the field, spending together, philosophizing over ball and culture and everything else. And so uh, it's always, always really cool when we get to share some of those moments uh, where we get to enjoy some of the, some of the long talks, the long evenings that we spend uh, talking about what's right and, and enjoying what, you know, we've been able to both be a part of and build here in, in LA. Is this, I mean, when you're going your, through your process, you and your wife and family about doing this one more time, is this what you dreamt of, obviously, Andrew? I mean, I don't know if I could have dreamed a better scenario uh, than, than really how this year's played out and, and um, in a lot of different ways, Rich. I mean, I think there's, you know, things you're involved in and things you're not. I mean, even having some games where I've had to miss for injury and having a young guy like Joe Noteboom that I've, you know, mentored since the day he got here and see him come in and, and play well and get and win games for us and, and then, you know, so you, you almost get to see the totality of all of it. And then some of the things that we've been able to do and young guys rise up and uh, it's just been so special. And then now to be, to be playing a franchise that I poured my heart and soul into for 11 years and, uh, you know, for them to be where they are and have a relationship with a lot of those folks. I couldn't be more grateful, honestly. Just it's, uh, as I said, my heart's full for both both franchises, and I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, your wife tweeted out a photograph of you embracing, saying it's all worth it. So that's got to be cool to see that from your wife, right, Andrew? Yeah, I mean, it is. Uh, it is. It, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, sacrificing things that you don't get to be around for your kids for and, and different family moments. And, and uh, you know, and there's a lot of sacrifices that my wife makes and my kids make for me to get to do this. And, um, you know, I, th I think it uh, makes it all worthwhile when you get to these kind of moments. Andrew Whitworth here on the Rich Eisen Show. And, again, it is kind of wild. It's the Bengals, too. And an LSU quarterback quarterbacking them, too. Andrew, this is kind of freaky to me. I wonder what likes it, you. It is. You know, I mean, uh, to think that uh, last December, Joe, Joe Burrow uh, is fresh off of his uh, ACL surgery, and I'm, I'm uh, trying to rehab a PCL and MCL tear, and we're sitting in my house watching NFL football games together on a Sunday, both in crutches and – knee braces and then now for us to be playing each other in the super bowl uh it's it's just been a wild year i'll put it that way so you and joe burrow rehab together andrew no he just we have the same team doc, dr elitrosh right. did his surgery and so i had never actually met joe or talked to him while he was at lsu i'd sent him some messages over the time he was there but we'd never met uh and obviously when he got to cincinnati uh, through me knowing Zach Taylor really well, you know, I, I got to hear about him a lot. But when I heard that he was out here in L.A. doing his rehab with Dr. Elitrosh, I reached out to him and he came over to the house and um, we spent some time together watching NFL football. And um, and then he also came over for the draft when they drafted Jamar Chase this year. So we, we've uh, <laughs> we've had some time to hang out and get to know each other over the last year. And, and uh, now for us both to be in the Super Bowl is uh, pretty crazy. But dude. I, I did not know that. So he's at the draft, and he that's how he learns officially that Jamar Chase, LSU teammate, was going to be his professional teammate. You're all LSU Tigers together. I mean, yeah, we're just, come we're on. Sitting in my house watching, watching the draft together. So then I guess your impressions of Joe Burrow then? 
before we get to your quarterback? Oh, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've always been on record saying he's going to be really special. That time I got to spend with him last year when he was injured, just hearing how his mind works and, and really just the, the way he's wired, uh, extremely rare. And um, he's going to be a real special one for a really long time. And um, I, I walked away from that day I spent with him thinking that uh, – Wow, you know, here's the next, you know, the next Peyton, the next Tom, the next, I mean, what Drew Brees, whoever you want to call it, this guy is extremely, extremely rare, and, and he's going to be a really good one for a long time. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.